Hey, what's up everyone? Tim here from Everyday Tactical Vids, and today we're looking at this, which is the compact admin pouch from Maxpedition. Now, I'm gonna roll in a bunch of uh, video footage here just so you can see what this looks like totally empty because we're gonna show you what it looks like back in the studio with all kinds of gear in it. Um, but I saw this first at uh, SHOT Show 2016 when I was over at the Maxpedition booth. I was talking to Tim and Aaron over there. And um, yeah, I mean, just a lot of cool features that they're thinking through on this new gear. They have a lot of, um, they're, they're finding ways to make it sturdier, to make it uh, lighter, and to add new features that kind of offer you a new look and new function for this gear. This is something that would be great, you know, to store uh, medical gear in, to store uh, an everyday carry backup system, lots of different things like that. This is a great pouch to fill with your gear and then put it in your car or put it in your bag. Um, and, you know, just always have that gear accessible to you in a very compact and nicely made pouch. All right, let's head up to the studio and uh, talk about this thing a little bit more in depth. We're up in the studio now. Let's talk through some of the details on the cap, the compact admin pouch. Price point, 30 to $35, depending on where you get it. There are links to uh, Amazon down below in the description section. So just click that show more tab and you can head over to Amazon to pick up one of these. Uh, they do come in tan, black, and also in gray as well. When there's nothing in the pack, it's going to be 5 by 2.5 by 7 inches. Obviously, when you fill it up with gear, it's going to be a little bit wider. Um, let's just talk through some of the details externally, and then I'll show you what it looks like to have some gear actually in here. On the front here, you can see essentially the new wave Molly webbing. So it's got some thinner slots and then some op more open slots, kind of square shaped. Uh, highly durable, much more lightweight, and it doesn't, I mean, it has a tactical look, but not as tactical as Molly, at least not now, because it is a new, kind of a new look. You can see the beehive behind. As far as the material, it's going to be super uh, durable and strong. As far as your pull tabs for your zippers, uh, you know, you grab on these things. I don't want to yank this off the uh, camera right now, but very easy to open. Good quality zippers. You do have a D-ring here and also one over here on this side. And even just feeling them, you can tell they're high quality D-rings. Even though they are a, a plastic-like material, they're not going to snap on you. They're going to be durable. If you want to put a strap to you know throw the shoulder or shoulder, you could do that. On the top here, they do have what they call their shape shift handle. Very easy to grab a hold of. I, I will tell you that when I first thought, saw this, I thought eh, it's not going to be that comfortable. But the way it's stitched, the, the width and everything, it is quite comfortable to, uh, to use. Again, you got your set of zippers there and another set of zippers here on the back. On the back here you can see two of the tactile polymer joining clips on this lattice system. Uh, you can use these to attach the pouch to another piece of gear, a bag or something like that, or also to a vest if you wanted to do that. Let me give you a quick rundown on your materials. So YKK zippers, they're pretty much the best ones out there. You have 500D hex ripstop and then 1000D plain weave for the other portions of the bag that don't have this kind of hexagonal uh, beehive type shape on it. Uh, again, overall, your materials across the board are just really high quality stuff. Let's open up the uh, pouch to show you what's inside. I'm going to turn this around actually this way so you can see what's inside. Now, when I teach an everyday carry class or wilderness survival class, things like that, uh, I often bring just a ton of gear so people can check out, you know, different flashlights, knives, things like that. So what basically this has turned into is a smaller flashlight transport bag. And I'm going to show you just all the stuff that you can actually store in here. So when you open up, you can see it is... It's got a gray interior and I would call that high viz. So just the contrast of whatever you're looking at with that nice kind of gray, bright gray uh, material thing stand out. You can see we have a lanyard uh, lanyard here. So if you want to put keys in there, you can certainly do that. We do have the, these uh, elastic bands. I've got three different small lights down there, uh, two through nights. And then I think this is an ultra tech, uh, that third, that blue one there. But you can see it fits a bunch of small things. It could certainly fit pens or other small items. And then we have two small flashlights there, and then two pens right here. So you've got some smaller uh, elastic bands and then smaller ones here, and then these get slightly bigger. So now we're in the main compartment. You can see I have a large Phoenix flash in here. This is the PD35 TAC, which is pretty big for an EDC light. And then we have a through night. This is the Archer 2A, I think the V2. So these are, you know, I would call this moving toward large and then maybe a smaller, moving up toward medium sized flashlight. A pouch behind here if you want to store more gear you could certainly fit, fit like a, a right in the rain pad back there or something and then turn it around this way and you can see we've got two large um, elastic bands here i've got an la police gear light a uh, streamlight stylus pro and then a surefire fury and then back you can see a little loop right there if you want to attach let me see if we can get that in the light there it is you can see a little loop there if you want to attach gear and then there is another pouch actually behind these lights 
We're going to wrap up now talking about this Maxpedition Compact Admin Pouch. I'll tell you a few things. First, if you're the type of person who just likes to throw your gear into like a box or a Ziploc bag, this is not for you. This is to really organize your gear. So if you don't really care about kind of where your stuff is sitting or how it's organized, don't spend the money on this. It's not a good investment. But if you're the type of person who wants gear kind of tidy and organized in a specific way, this could be a really good option. Obviously, it has to be something that fits your gear. So, you know, you're not gonna fit an AR-15 and 15 full-size flashlights in here. It's just not built for that. But you saw for me, when it comes to transporting a bunch of smaller flashlights to go teach a wilderness survival class, an everyday carry type class, this thing works great. It holds the gear as I want it to. I can open it up, lay the stuff out, and then put it back in here at the end. And it keeps it safe. That's a big deal for me. I don't want my items getting all beat up in the process of transport. Again, Maxpedition is pressing the envelope. They're trying to think outside the box on how to continue to make good quality gear. They've had a reputation for a while of their stuff being a little bit more expensive, but also being really nicely made. And now they're taking things to a whole new level. So the compact admin pouch, once again, links are down below in that description section. So click that show more tab. You can go down there and uh, pick up one of these. 30 to $35 is generally your price range. You got a couple different colors and um, I've been really happy with this thing. So I encourage you to check this out and the other new gear from Maxpedition out as well. I'll put a link down below in that description section also of my video from SHOT Show 2016. And I do wanna let you know that I've got two other reviews coming of some of the new Maxpedition gear. One is a sling bag, like a messenger bag called the Wolfspur. And then I've got another uh, sling bag, kind of the, the standard sling bag, like one that rides on your back. So stay tuned for those videos. They'll be coming out pretty soon. And as always, thanks for watching these videos. More coming soon. Take care.